finally started to see a few scattered showers, possibly a quick storm or two develop, mainly in Lee County. You can see one right outside of Franklin Grove now had a couple indications of lightning just a second ago. Be ready for a quick downpour to come through your backyard quite soon here. It'll be into the Ashton area at about 530 and then flag center at about quarter to six. That's the one little shower we're seeing right now across our backyard. Still some streaming towards us to our south. This whole corridor was full of severe weather about an hour ago, but since then the storms have calmed down some. Says they continue to track closer towards us, not anticipating any severe weather. And it's one of those blink and you might miss it, but there is this little line that you might see drifting out of that line of showers from Iowa. That is what we call an outflow boundary. So as the uh, air gets cooled off by showers and storms, it becomes dense. It becomes colder and as a result, it hits the ground and doesn't really have anywhere else to go besides spreading outward. What we can see is sometimes along these little outflow boundaries, so that rain cooled air, additional showers and storms can fire up. And that's what we are noticing here, at least into Lee County. That outflow from previous showers and storms is kicking off a new batch. And sometimes you can catch that on radar as that cool air comes flowing out of the previous showers and storms. Now, regardless if it's that little outflow that we're seeing hitting into Lee County or a cold front, a much bigger boundary. We've got some showers and storms still to go for tonight. Eventually a lot of this activity catches up with us as we go into the late evening hours. It'll be a bit of a race against time to see if we can get any severe weather out of it. Through sunset, we may have just enough energy to get some very isolated severe weather going. Right now our focus is going to keep an eye on Lee County. Damaging wind and hail will be the main threats, but I think the timing's a little off on this. So by the time these showers and storms catch up with us, it might be a little too late. You can see here on future track, we've got a fairly quiet evening, and then we get to about nine o'clock. This would be after sunset. We've lost the sunlight. We've lost that daytime heating, so there's less energy for these storms. As a result, may get some quick downpours, some rumbles of thunder in general, a rainy start to the night. All of this is out by early Friday morning, so not really anticipating much for strong storms, but we'll watch out for them just in case. Overall, though, as we go deeper into the night, more showers, a couple rumbles of thunder. That should be about it for us. And then we start out cloudy and dry tomorrow, clear out to sunny, holding out of that warm weather, going into the afternoon with high temperatures in the mid 70s, then heading into the weekend. Closer to 80, but keep an eye out for evening showers and storms on Saturday. After that, a nice end of the weekend and start to next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, a lot of warmth coming early next week, but late next week, cooling off some. So enjoy the heat because it may go away a little bit the deeper we go into May.